Post up and provide cover. Ready or Not is an intense, tactical, first-person shooter that depicts a modern-day world in which SWAT police units are called to defuse hostile and confronting situations. You know, it'd be neat if these guys would, like, stack up when I thought them stack up. Instead, they just, like, stare deep into your soul. We're not gonna do that, man. Uh, we don't. We don't think that's a good idea. We'd rather just stay here on the outside of the building. Open the door. Clear it. Post up. Yeah. No. We don't. We don't want to do that. Provide support. Behind you. B behind you, sir. Behind you, sir. I, sir. Open and clear. Yeah. No. We don't. We don't want to do that, though. Fall in. Behind you. Oh, behind you. We're we're ready to go. Ready to go. Behind you. you guys breach it with the ram get the door and move in uh no no we don't we don't want to do that we'd Let's rather move. just stand out here if that's cool with you okay i guess i'll do it all myself all right guys welcome to the video we're gonna start some ready or not gameplay so we're gonna try and listen to the whole briefing plan our attack and respond to this mission as we would on our actual SWAT team so we're bringing the real world SWAT experience to the game ready or not and we'll see just how realistic it is so we'll go ahead and get started here and listen to our briefing listen up at around 2300, we received multiple 911 calls from the 4U gas station at 5th and Van Drake in Southside. We believe this to be a stick-up robbery with multiple armed suspects. At this current time, we don't know the condition of 4U manager Mudasir Varma or Sharla Layton, with both calling in during the robbery along with multiple other civilians in the premises, including Sharla's daughter, Crystal Layton. First responders began locking down on the scene at 2340, containing the area for D-Platoon's arrival. An officer on scene reported the sound of gunshots at 2345 within the main building. We can identify. So, a little bit interesting here um, off the start. So, this really sounds more like an active shooter situation at the moment. Uh, it says that there's you know multiple 911 calls. We've got first responders there locking down the scene. Um, if they're still hearing gunshots going off inside the main building, uh, Patrol shouldn't be waiting for a SWAT team to get mobilized and to get there. Um, if shots are actively being fired, patrol is going to have to be in there uh, doing work already. So a little bit unrealistic there off the bat. Uh, they're not just going to be standing around on the outside while people are getting shot inside the main building. But we'll continue on here. Identify all three suspects on the scene. Andre Williams, Zion Pretlow, and Jaden Fletcher. All have their own run-ins with the law for drug... I also don't know how they were able to figure out who the suspects were that quickly, but... ...related offenses or violent crimes. Be advised, some or all may be under the influence of methamphetamine and incredibly erratic. This potentially showing their true motives to feed a lethal addiction, even with the stick-up being high risk. We can assume their move was calculated, with DeBanco stopping by before the robbery for regular pickup of cash stored on the premises. The banker's employees are known to be at risk during their shifts with many criminal acts committed against them, such as assault and attempted robberies. So it's interesting here. I mean, he's talking about how they may be under the influence of meth and incredibly erratic, but then he's talking about how assume their moves are super calculated. Um, so interesting assumptions there probably would get left out of a briefing. We're not going to just start guessing like, oh, you know, maybe these guys are on drugs. Maybe they're trying to rob the store so that they can get more drugs. I mean, that's that's really beside the point here. Um, we just know that we're going to need to get in there and put a stop Along to Along with the front entrance into the store, there's a second method of entry into the diner side area on the northern side. If both locations aren't viable options, there are two alternate entry points on both sides of the building. One may require a key card used by employees. 
You should be able to find it in an ox box on scene. Suspects may have broken away from the main building into the side garage on the eastern side. Exercise caution when moving around the exterior. It is unlikely the suspects are wearing armor. They are armed and have demonstrated their intent to cause harm. We do know at least one of the suspects is carrying a 9mm semi-automatic pistol, as described by a witness. Remember to only use lethal force on what you deem as an imminent threat to you or your element, as well as civilians present at the scene. Plan and coordinate your actions accordingly. And get to work. Okay, so... No shit. Uh, only use lethal, lethal force uh, if it's a need to use lethal force. Uh, our SWAT commander is not gonna uh, drop that knowledge bomb before we uh, step off on a mission here. Obviously, we're not going to shoot people unless they need to be shot. So that's just kind of dumb. Um, it's funny how this game tries, it's trying to be so realistic. Like that's the point of this game is hyper realism, but then they drop stuff like that. It's like, well, of course, we're not just going to run in there and start shooting unarmed civilians or anything like that. So um We've got a little sub suspect tab here. We can see uh, who our suspects are. I don't know how we figured this out, like I said, as quick as we did, but we've got Andre Williams, 6'3", male, medium build, 165. Mission High School in his final year. Following an incident in the school, he was placed under house arrest at his grandmother's house. Uh, while the investigation took place, charges have been dropped. Uh, citing a lack of due diligence from the officers who attended the scene. Uh, engaged in a gunfight between himself and a gang uh, while shooting a rap video for an underground media organization. Uh, the footage has been circulated heavily, achieving... Okay, so he's got some notoriety. So, gang member here. Jaden Fletcher. Uh, we've got... He lives with his older brother in Dawson Park. Dawson Garden Project's low-income housing... High rate of crime, drug activity, domestic violence, um, supporting drug habits, enrolled in a drug treatment program, blah, 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 placed on probation, brother who is also involved in drug activity, was charged and sentenced to prison. Okay, cool story. Uh, Zion Pritlo from Virginia. I've uh, been living here for five years. Expelled, selling marijuana at school. He's a drug dealer. Um, interesting. <laughs> so this says he has a slender build and stands at approximately 5'10 in height. Up here it says that he is uh, between 6 foot and 5 foot 10. Okay, that's an interesting way of 6 foot, 5 foot, 10 inches. So he's either 6'10 or 5'10? I don't know. Um... Scar above the eyebrow. And he was wearing a face covering. Cool. So we've got some civilians here on the scene. Um, Sharla. She's the point of contact who was in the building before police arrived on scene. She found a hiding place called 911. Um, again, this this seems more like it should be an active shooter response uh, than anything else. Like I said, patrol should be in here handling business. The SWAT team is probably not going to get called out for something like this, but Rescuing her is imperative. Uh, she, rescuing her, her is imperative, specifically because her eyewitness account of the events that transpired before police arrived will help put the suspects behind bars for good. Yeah, definitely not the fact that like we probably have CCTV footage of them, you know, shooting people. That, uh, but we need to rescue her only because of her eyewitness account. We don't need to rescue her because you know we need to rescue her. That would be silly. Uh, this child, Crystal's also in the building. Uh, to our knowledge, they are not close to one another, approximately. Okay. Crystal, uh, she's gone missing in the building, split from her mom during the start of the robbery. Whereabouts unknown, maintain a close eye. Crystal is small, could be hiding in a closet. And then Mr. Varma, he's the ma manager at the gas station. Okay. Called in late today. Uh, in this case, he might have valuable information regarding the suspects if they were previously seen in the store with any other individuals. All right. And then we've got an onlooker photograph because, you know, people be out here trying to post on Twitter uh, when shots are being fired instead of just running away. So one of the shooters exiting the station brandishing a gun, shooting a homeless man in a checkered shirt. 
CCTV footage. Yeah, so we got the whole thing on uh, CCTV, but don't worry. We need we need to rescue her for her eyewitness testimony, uh, not because we need to rescue her. Um, group enters the 4U gas station, so it looks like there's three, possibly three shooters in there. Um, screen grab from media coverage showing the suspects in the dining area. Okay. Um... It is interesting here that we have the 911 call. We'll go ahead and listen to it uh, just for funsies. Um, honestly, if the team was getting called out, we probably wouldn't have all this extra information that we've got so far. Um, you know, if we were responding to something like this, they're going to be like, hey, uh, a gang is shooting up a gas station and you guys need to get in there. We'll be like, cool. We're not going to have all this extra inf information about everything like that. Um, so fun because it has a storyline with it for the for the game. But we're probably not going to have all of this here. So let's go ahead and listen to the calls. 911, what's your emergency? Hello, my name is Charlotte Lake. I'm at a gas station and need help right now. Ma'am, are you at the 4U gas station on 5th and Van Drake Southside? Yes! Please, please, please help. I, I got separated from my daughter, Crystal. They're shooting people. Okay, I need you to listen to me carefully, okay? Follow my instructions. You need to find a safe place anywhere you can hide, and I need you to stay on the line with me, okay? Officers are already on the way. Okay. Okay. Please don't hang up. Oh, God. I'm here, ma'am. I need you to stay hidden and quiet for me until officers get there. Okay, so we got another one. What's your emergency? Hello! I'm being robbed! Okay, try to remain calm for me, sir. Where's the robbery taking place? The foil gas station on 5th and Van Drake. So tight. They have done it. They started shooting. Officers are on the way, sir. I need you to get somewhere safe, okay? And if you're able to, please tell me how many people you saw inside. I'm in the back room. I'm not sure how many. I take. Sir? Hello, sir? No way. No. Are you there? Hello? Sir? No! 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 Okay, so it definitely sounds like he got shot. Alright, so we do have a floor plan here. We've got our four sides of the structure. We've got the sales floor register. That Looks like we've got a pathway into the left here with the bathrooms that leads back to the dining area that circles all the way around to the front so you can get to the dining area from the sales floor or from uh, this corridor here with the bathrooms. Got a freezer room with an entrance on the outside. Um, we've obviously got entrance to the dining area and the sales floor from the exterior and then we can access this uh, little corridor here from the outside counter for the dining area um, looks like we're gonna have a storage closet or something in here little walk through into the kitchen uh, which also leads out to the dining area got another space in here with the break room with multiple entrances from this hallway so outside of the corridor we can come through here to get to the break room that's gonna be how we're gonna get into the register or through the office. All right, so that's about all we have there for our briefing. So we'll go ahead and get started and next you'll see us in the mission. I got you. All right, we've got someone down Stop here reporting. up front. Entry team suspects have Talk. taken refuge the in the area and are refusing to cooperate. Move in. So he said that uh, the hostage, I guess, I guess we're calling them hostage takers now. Uh, it says that our negotiators are have lost contact with them, so we need to get in there real quick. Like, um, Police, not, I want to see those hands. Not sure who he sees. See someone in the front of the building. Where do you see someone? Okay, got one person here. Gold. We're gonna have them move to us. Move forward. 
We don't have any gunshots going off or anything like that pressing us at the moment, so we're going to hold what we have. Okay. I'll get them ready. Hey, Where's stay calm. I'm not going to hurt you. Civilian is tough and good to go. This right. is my fault. So, clear this out. That is not a real person. Alright. Let's press forward and make sure that there's no one waiting on the other side of this. And then we're going to make entry over there. So this looks like that uh, little corridor with the bathrooms from the briefing. So we're going to have our guys stack up here. Post up and provide cover. the door please provide cover stack up okay this is one of the things that is very annoying about this game is that they don't want to uh move in clear what you want them to do often we're telling our guy like hey uh why don't y'all fucking open the this door, clear it. and clear it nope they just, they just really don't want to open and clear that, do they? Open the door, clear it. Post up. All right, good job, team. I guess Provide you're support. Uh, ball in on me. Okay, cool. You want to do that? How about now? Open and clear. Nope. All right. Well, fall in. Fall in on me, I guess. So this is what I'm talking about with uh, the game is that. It tries so hard to be tactical, but it won't be tactical. So can we breach here with a ram? That would be the awesome. Door and move in. Oh, I thought we were going to. Can you kick it? Let's move. Nope, you guys, you just can't do much, can you? That's all right. I guess we'll uh, use our breaching shotgun. Move in and clear. All right, I guess we're uh, solo clear in this. Fall in behind me. Got your six. Okay. LSPD, clear LSPD. Police, get down. Please, have to listen to me. Raise your hand now. All right, so we obviously don't have enough people to uh, hold all these angles that we'd like to, since we've only got a four-man team. So we're going to wedge that. Uh, wedging that is going to be considered having someone holding that door. So uh, we do have another closed door here. This is the bathroom. So we'll clear that. Now let's have these guys. Enter and clear. Affirmative. Okay, finally. They're going to do something. Let me see those hands. So we'll hit on this door while they make entry there. Drop it down. Okay. Lead the talk. We have one suspect down. Talk to Elvis. Got a suspect down here. Copy that entry team. Notifying trailers. Kim Light. Got in a handcuff. Suspect isn't going anywhere. Safe. All right, so we'll hold this here. Uh, we go. secured the gun. Uh, we do still need to secure him, but, you know, normally you wouldn't secure a person by yourself. So we're going to hold off on that. We'd like to get this civilian to... Let's go! Come to my position. Because I don't want to be in that hallway with him. <laughs> yeah, just trick him. Run right over that dude. Alright, I'm going to close this door. Um, again... Stay calm. You typically would not restrain someone by yourself. You would have a cover officer. Hey, I work here. But Element that's talk. Right. Civilian we'll is standing also by the trailers. Restrain him here. Talk reporting. Great work, entry team. All right. Keep it up. Uh, and talk is incredibly annoying. There, um, we're not going to be talking to our command quite that much. Saying, "Oh, got a civilian here. Oh, got a civilian here. Oh, got a bad guy down here. Oh, got a bad guy down here." 
Uh, if we're inside doing stuff, we're we're inside doing stuff. Uh, we don't have to give them updates on everything. So again, you wouldn't cuff these guys by yourself, but our we AI is you. just you know, teammates are hanging out over here by themselves. Lead to talk. We lost a civilian. Repeat, civilian looks like, killed. It's like we've lost quite a few civilians and a dog. Who shoots the dog? That's ridiculous. But we'll continue on here. Uh, I'm gonna split the team. Red team. We'll have them open Through the this. door and clear. Getting into position. Wow, blue team. You All guys. Team right. Move in and clear, clear this. Confirmed. Sorry, I'm in your way, sir. My bad, sir. Apologies, sir. All right, go ahead and open that. Okay, typically we wouldn't just bypass an open door like this, so I'll clean up for the guy in the back. In fact, we've got him down. We definitely need to restrain him because he's still alive and he's got a gun right there. Like a little zip gun. You're gonna be okay. Hopefully he can cover me while we uh, put him in cuffs. Entry team to talk. Civilian really cuffed and prepped for evac. Keep going. Okay. Not sure where the rest of everybody went. Okay. Okay, nice. We cleared out the whole front structure. So our uh, order of enter and clear for a red team did not on me go Thank through you, apparently. So they're still out here waiting. We would have liked for them to have cleared this first before we even made entry over Red. there, but Element. Red get team. everybody here. We will reach. Y'all can just kick that get open. Get the door and move in. Getting into position. Reaching. Move, move, move. Open it on the Lots of places to hide. There you got one over here. here. No contact. Out. Lots Good of job. places to hide. These guys, another thing that's clear, kind yeah. of annoying to go. To go. is this they is just... Moving in. Copy entry team. Got an opening up ahead. There's so opening much talking, right. it's incredibly clear frustrating. Here, boss. Okay, let's go ahead and open that let's door go in, also. In, See what's on the other side of that. Locked. How do you want to okay. do it? You can just kick it open, please. Go, go, go! Roger that. Um, I forget what I was saying. There's so many people talking to my ear the whole time. Um, Entry team to talk. Sorry, we have a civilian in custody and ready for transport. So we would probably put her in handcuffs also, but that's okay. Uh, there's just so many people talking all the time, like for no reason at all. Um, they're constantly just like, move, 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 breaching, breaching, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the chem light placement is hilarious. So typically you drop a chem light to indicate that a room has been cleared, but this room has not been cleared. <laughs> There's still an open, open door there. Uh, this goes in here. Here's a store manager. Um, and the mission just ends there because we definitely know that we killed all the bad guys without clearing out the rest of the room. Um, and we definitely know that we got all the civilians secured without uh, securing everyone. So that's uh, this first mission complete. Um, we got an A+, plus, which is which is good. I don't, I mean, it obviously gets better with an S, but the other frustrating thing about this game is that in order to get an S rank, you have to not kill people that are shooting back at you. So... It's just, it's an interesting game for sure. Um, it's trying very hard to be a tactical shooter, um, but you only have four bodies and that's not quite enough to get done what you need to get done. So I understand that some compromises have to be made, but um, also the game just ended there without us even clearing out the rest of the structure. So that's the first mission um, from a real SWAT operator's perspective. Um, if you guys enjoy it, we'll continue on with the rest. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, hey, where is the Ready or Not gameplay? Um, the only reason it hasn't been here so far is because the gameplay itself is not really conducive to 
what we like to train with. Um, I like to use the channel as a training tool uh, more so than just straight entertainment. Um, if you guys want me to take some missions as just straight entertainment value as opposed to trying to learn the tactics along the way. Uh, but as you can see, we violated a lot of principles of CQB there, bypassing open doors, um, doing all sorts of things that we shouldn't be doing. So if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, say something down in the comments to let me know which way you guys are leaning. Um, and we can continue making videos like this, or if you want me to not, then we can not. Uh, balls in your guys' court for sure. Um, I don't mind making them. Um, I think the game itself is fun. Uh, but if we're trying to come at it from a super realistic perspective, that's just not exactly how it is. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you know when other videos drop. And we'll see you in the next one.